Today, we are going to talk about the big partnership that was just announced between Uber and Turo. Before I get into that, click below, grab the five things you must do before starting a car rental business. That also includes the car share growth guide, which gives you a city by city breakdown of which car share platform is strongest in your area. Lots of great information in there. So Uber announces they are packing up shop with car share, but they are moving their efforts over to pushing more cars to Uber rent. The Uber rent is an app within the Uber app where you can go out and pick up a car and rent it. So now Uber customers are going to have access to Turo cars nationwide. Very, very interesting. Couple of things I want to point out about this. So first of all, this isn't launching until January of 2025. Now that said, they are going to allow workers and Uber drivers to rent Turo cars. Now they're not going to allow actual Uber drivers and ride share, but they are going to allow food deliveries. And all I have have to say to that is Turo hosts welcome to the jungle baby you'll be checking out this channel a lot more <laughs> now that said they are not allowing uber drivers yet to use the cars for uber passengers but I have a hunch that may change over time, given that that is the most lucrative part of the industry. So that is going to be an interesting change for Turo hosts who are used to such good renter behavior. <laughs> Overall, I see this is very much a win-win partnership for Uber and Turo. Uber needs more cars, Turo needs more customers. It's a pretty basic match for each other. It's definitely a win-win for the two companies. I will tell you an interesting tidbit about this industry. Uber Rent was originally developed and designed by Getaround to rent cars from Getaround on the Uber platform. So it's interesting that now Turo is using that. A couple interesting statistics is that as of right now, Turo uh, Worldwide has 364,000 cars available for rent. That should be enough for Uber. Turo CEO stated that there is still a $1.5 billion opportunity in growth for car share and overall said that 1.5 billion cars on the planet are still underutilized. So he is very bullish on car share, still sees this industry growing very much. What's interesting to me is that Turo is still growing very well. They've got the whole car share thing figured out. We've seen a lot of other companies not figure this out. Obviously Uber car share just shut down. We also heard recently that Avail is no longer doing car share. Getaround certainly had its issues over the years, but is back on the upswing. Obviously, we all know about Hire Car. I don't have to say anything about that. In my opinion, what has differentiated Turo is that they have put a real emphasis on finding high quality renters. And if you have ever put a car on Turo, you know that the renters are typically really solid and there's no issue and there's very little claim rate. So I would say that that's a differentiating factor for Turo in that they have really solid renters. Obviously, as we know, they also expect a very clean car, a very tidy car. I am very curious to see if they allow these cars to be used for actual ride share and Uber rides with passengers, not just food delivery, because that is going to be a mix between Turo hosts and Uber drivers, I don't think they are going to like each other, in my opinion. After just reading many message boards on Turo already, I can see that a lot of Turo hosts do not like this idea off the bat. Most Turo hosts have not had much exposure at all to rideshare drivers. Now, if you do start dealing with rideshare drivers, hey, welcome to the promised land, baby. I'll tell you all about it. I've been doing it for almost 10 years. So that said, I do think this will be an interesting story to watch in this industry because there is a lot of money in with rideshare drivers. And I think that's part of the reason why they're doing this. But they are also, they come with their own headaches. As we all know, if you dealt with them before. Overall, drop some comments. We'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this partnership. Before I go, click below, grab the five things you must do before starting a car rental business. I will catch you in the next episode. Thank you.